Hello, my name is Dr. Greg Simcoe. Now, just recently, 2011, uh, in the journal Neurology, a study was done to determine the uh, effect of B12 on dementia or um, memory loss um, and Alzheimer's and stuff, stuff like that. Now, um, they studied B12 levels and they discovered that B12 levels by itself could not determine whether um, there was a propensity or a, a, a level associated with dementia. However, they looked at two other what we call markers, blood markers. One is serum homocysteine and methylammonic acid, or MMA. Now, these two markers, or uh, when, when you take a, a blood draw, you would look at um, certain levels such as um, you know sodium or cholesterol those are called markers actually had a better correlation to dementia uh, or the incidence of dementia and what they did was they studied uh, they took a group of people and studied them over a few years period and they did in-home uh, tests cognitive tests or thinking tests and they discovered that these levels when they were low in these markers that the incidence of dementia was a little higher um, and there was a greater chance, almost uh, a, a much greater chance of developing dementia when these levels were um, a, a problem. So what's important or the takeaway from here is that um, it is advisable to not just have B12 checked as a marker but to have these levels. MMA and um, serum homocysteine to be uh, checked because they're a better uh, marker, a better predictor of whether um, you will develop dementia and what you might actually be able to do to prevent it. Um, so you need to find someone who understands that um, and looks into that and to understand the most recent research coming out and how um, you can actually uh, look at serum homocysteine and MMA in order to properly determine whether you're at risk of developing dementia or not and what you can do about it.